What's going on guys, Danny White coming at you guys with another video. Today is going to be a different style video. We're just going to do a little bit of vlog, just daily thing, nothing really important. I'm working on the Hyundai right now. As you guys know, I already did the axles, so I have fresh axles and pads. Currently doing this uh, tie rod. I got the old ones out, the new ones in here. The new ones are in the car. I'm getting the oil paint off. So I can replace the gasket because it is leaking a whole bunch of oil. Let me show you how I can. So here is the gasket for the oil pan. I'm currently taking that off. I needed to buy this. I needed to buy this swivel so I can get in there. I have this one, but it's too big for it to go into the space where the oil pan bolt is. So I'll show you. All those, very easy to get to, but right there, as you guys can see, one, two, and yeah, one, two, and three. Those are really hard to get to. I got to just get the swivel and pop that oil pan off. I already drained the oil. You can see it's still kind of leaking a little bit. I'm probably laying on some right now and it's pretty, it's pretty gross. Luckily I didn't lay on anything. So go ahead and clean up under here so we can unbolt this. I'm going to put all the oil pan bolts in this little cup just so I don't lose them. Put my trusty gloves on. Oh yeah. There's a bee. Get out. Oh, I hate bees. Oh, God. It's literally in. Ah! It just dove right into the oil. You guys see it? Look at that bee. Uh. That motherfucker was planning on stinging me. He was trying to sting me. Look at that. Ugh. So I got my 10 millimeter on an extension. See, this is the fun part about being in a camp. Your tools go everywhere and then you lose them. All the way on the other side. All right. Let's go again. I got my 10 millimeter, but what I need is a swivel. That's what, oh, this one comes into play. I just go ahead, pop that in there, pop that through there, and it's skinny enough to go through there, not too long. So let's go ahead, take y'all under there and see if we can give it a shot. Uh. Yeah. One. Okay, let's make this easier. Guys, so finally I got all the bolts out thanks to the swivel. Like I was able to get the three that were bad. I did all these other ones. Now I should be ready to just pop off. If it can pop off. No. Guys, for some reason, I can't get the oil pan to come off. I got all the bolts off, as you guys saw. They're all right here. I can't get the oil pan to pop off. For some reason, there's still more oil draining. Alright boys, after all day of pulling and hammering and getting and prying and shimmy shimmy, bulu babbing, and banana pulling, nothing, I finally got it. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. And that gasket is definitely stuck on the engine. <laughs> on the engine block. Look at that. Let's go ahead and clean that all up and put it back on. All right, so it does look like I'm gonna need to go to the store and grab some steel wool. So let's go ahead and go to the store, maybe grab some food at McDonald's and get back to this. So catch you guys on the way. What year is the car? Huh? What year is it? This one's a 99. 99? Yeah, I bought it from some old lady on the second owner. This is fresh. Yeah, it rides good. I mean, I got uh, the turbo set up in the um, swap at the house. Where are you about to boost it? Oh, yeah, I'm building it. I'm building the swap. Uh, B20 bottom with a V16 head. That's badass. Uh, I'm going to turbo this one till it blows up. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I plan on boosting this. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for more shit to come in. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I found this old lady, dude. I saw she was rolling back at the stoplight. Offered her some money, she gave it to me. That's fresh. And then I lowered it. And that's oh, yeah. What kind of coilovers you got on there? It's just eBay stuff. Yeah? For yeah. Now. That's what I got. just got Raceland and all eBay other stuff. Yeah, just a little eBay here and there. Good fitment, though. Shoot, man. I had to roll these fenders with a baseball belt. Yeah? <laughs> Shit's a roll, boy. That's dope. I like this. I got it. We go, we go, we Yeah, bone stock right in that Mexican height. <laughs> Blank canvas, man. So doing whatever I want to. Just seeing what routes I want to go. Yeah, I got that bone stock too. Yeah, I like that thing, though. Come on. Is coming from. Yeah. It does sound like it's right here. Yeah, right. It could honestly be one of your motor mounts too. I heard that. Yeah, somebody else uh said something about that speaker before, but I don't I don't see anything. Completely changing this whole entire car. I'm just doing this crap just for fun before I actually build it. And yeah, it you gotta finish the build first and yeah. then be able to put it in. But well, one day I'm gonna be slow with the single cam and I'm gonna wake up super fast. Yeah, <laughs> man. But I figure I'll build it for about six to eight months, put some good parts in it. That way I don't have to rush and spend a fuck ton of money. Yeah, that's that's one of the things I did with my old BMW and I fucked it up. Oh yeah, dude. Freaking my 240, I smashed that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hope this temporarily works. But when I get home, I'm gonna put it on my lift and see everything. I, work I like on, the hood design. Oh, yeah, I just stenciled it, man. Yeah. My friend has some stencils and crap, so I just spray paint it. That's fire. I got a carbon fiber hood really at the house, so it's just, just. Yeah, just, trash, too. Really. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man, if you ever need a lift or anything, I work down there at Jiffy Lube. Word, word. What's your name, man? My name is Marquis. Where do you got Instagram or Snapchat you want to put out? Uh, my Instagram is, I think it's 83, JDM is life, 83, and then an X at the end. All right. Yeah. Yep. Y'all check my boy out. Yep, yep. Uh, we're going to hope that this works. Yeah, I'm a good build, man. Appreciate it, man. Looks good. All right, yeah, I'm about, I'm about to head. Take it easy, bro. You too, man. Like when I see people trying to take pictures of the car or asking if they can't take pictures of the car I just had a, a guy at Walmart come up to me and ask me if he could take a picture of the car I was like hey man check out the YouTube channel gave him a sticker and everything so these stickers are great my girlfriend she got them for me so I can spread the uh, spread the word on the channel I've already given them out to quite a few people like the guy at McDonald's the guy at Walmart and sometimes I'll just be driving by and see a car meet and I'll just pull up and I'll do a little donut and hype everybody up and I'll just give people stickers and stuff so and it's an easy way to get the channel out easy way to get it big and it, it'll be it, 
it's it's something to get it going you know because soon i already ordered what i'm going to be giving away as soon as i get it i'll be showing you guys but i'll be doing a giveaway because my subscribers have been shooting up i i know it's only 15 but coming from nothing and i'm not even sharing it online or anything so let's uh let's just keep on let's keep trucking i really like the the help from you guys so if you guys just keep supporting it you know give me a like give me sub subscribe uh, i think i think we can get pretty far and pretty good because all the money that i'm getting from you guys will be going straight to the car to anything that i'll be doing for the channel dirt bikes all type of stuff so let's go ahead and get back to the house i got some groceries i got the steel wool i got a uh, gasket maker and everything else i need to finish the oil pan I also got some dog food for Cooper and some other stuff that I want, but let's go ahead and go back to the garage and finish the job before it gets dark. I only got about an hour or two before it gets dark, so let's go. All right, boys, so we're back. I got the steel wool, RTV, some of this stuff, cleaner, and let's just go ahead and get to rocking and rolling. Turn the light on. And we coolin'. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Put the gloves on. All right. They got that. Let's So I got a whole lot of it off. There's just still some bits and pieces that I'm gonna have to get with a razor blade. But all in all, like all through here, all the way around, it is all cleaned up. And then you just see the, that little bit of our TV and then it just goes from there all the way around. I'm just gotta scrape that off. And we'll be good. I'm gonna let that sit in there, clean it up, and then I'll walk over to the car wash and get it. All right, boys, so I got everything cleaned up and it's all ready to go. I even cleaned up up here. Got everything I could all super clean. There's only a couple spots like right there but i'm gonna try to get that with the razor blade and see what i can do all right boys so we got the oil pan right here clean as it could be i got all the gunk out of it everything off of it is super clean super smooth it feels really good so Let's go ahead and grab the gasket and see what we gotta do. What's up guys? So we're back, it's the next day. My phone died. I ended up being able to put the oil pan back in. I got some gasket maker all the way around. And right now I'm walking the dogs. I'll go back and show you guys later. Once we go back to the garage, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna go grab some breakfast, grab some food, my Arizona tea and pick up this dog poop so let's go ahead and do that and we'll go back to the garage and show you guys what we got down go ahead and finish the hyundai put the miata up on the jack stand so we can check it out because of the drift event another one coming up here this week so let's go ahead and get this day started So I'm currently talking to somebody about building me a bash bar. Um, he's a local guy, he's new to all of this, but he's giving me a fair price. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him up on that and gonna get it done. So y'all stay tuned for that in a later on video.
Another yellow car, let's go. I got the McMuffin, I got the sweet tea. Let's go ahead and go back to the garage and send it on a Hyundai, finish it up. And we're back. So like I said, I was able to get the oil pan off and back on. It is fresh. Ready to go. I also sprayed a bunch of cleaner, so now the motor looks, and the transmission looks a lot cleaner. So, let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna go around and tighten them up again. I did that twice yesterday. I tightened them, and then I went around twice again to make sure they were all tight, and I don't wanna tighten them too much and break one. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna go around and make sure they're all snug, and then be good to go and put the tie rods back take the rubber off of these and put them on the new ones which the new ones are in the trunk inner and outer inner and outer cool So I was trying to reuse these tie rod boots, but I guess they're shot and I should just go and get new ones. So I went ahead and installed my inner tie rod. That's down there nice and tight. And I got the other side done. So let's go ahead and go to the store. I'm gonna go ahead and go to O'Reilly's that's real close by, grab some boots, put it back on, put everything on and then we switch out the rear tire I switch out these rear tires right here because i'm planning on putting these tires i got some stock tires that i want to put on here and make it look clean because uh once i'm done fixing it my plan is to go ahead and sell it i need to buy me a pickup truck to tow this around let's go ahead and go to the store get those tie rod boots get this thing ready to be sold so I'll be back. Guys, this is a fail. So O'Reilly's, I went to Advanced Auto Parts and both of them do not have the tie rod boots. Both of them, if, even if they look up tie rod boots, it does not exist. I don't know what it is, I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to order them on eBay, get them shipped and sent over here, which that's the most annoying part. I have to wait, I guess we wait. See y'all when I get them. All right, guys, what's up? Back here, a couple days later. We got the boots in the mail today. I know, I just got off of work. I just gotta go ahead and get this done. Now that I got these, let's go ahead, let's go down in there and install these hoes. What's going on, guys? After all night of just hustling and twisting and turning a whole bunch of wrenches, the Hyundai is done. She's filled with oil. I got it all taken care of and clean man let me get this light a little bit of hassling and finagling with a whole bunch of other stuff but at the end of the day or at the end of the night still can't even see it now that the hyundai's done finally all i gotta do is just new spark plugs get an alignment done and i'm gonna go ahead and get that done all together at the garage just let them give me a new spark plug and do an alignment themselves. And then after that, ready to detail, ready to get sold, put it up for sale, get my money, and get me a pickup truck, get ready to be towing this thing around everywhere we go. And I'm gonna end the video here, get the oil pan out, out of the way, everything's ready. So I hope you guys liked the video. Y'all give me a like, comment down below. Y'all subscribe to the channel. There's more stuff coming up. Got an event coming up here in a few days. About to be drift prepping. We'll be coming up with a little video on what I do to drift prep. What I bring, what I personally bring to the event. And yeah, so let's just go. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to head out of here, grab some food, grab some dinner, hang out with some buddies. Y'all, take it easy. Have a good night. DV White is out.